the three most interesting destinations along the banks of the Mekong River. Australia's The Sydney Morning Herald recently introduced three destinations along the Mekong River with many unique features such as silk production, stilt houses, floating markets, flower farms or religious beauty. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, most towns and villages in Vietnam are located far from the mighty Mekong River. But Cai B is an exception. The French-style church here is located right by the river and from a distance it seems to be floating on the water. On the river, locals are skillfully steering boats filled with green vegetables and tropical fruits. Their goods will be hung on long wooden poles so that buyers can see from afar. Although there are no major attractions other than the vibrant Kaibi floating market, the scene here clearly shows the local life. There are many shops and small businesses lining the streets on both sides of the river. Visitors can also catch locals making cakes, producing rice noodles, making mahogany furniture, and selling everything from bonsai to computers. There are also numerous cafes and small boats for visitors wishing to explore the canals and relax amid the peaceful landscape. A destination not to be missed is Sadek. For fans of 20th century French writer Marguerite Duras, Sadek is definitely the place you want to be. This is where she lived and wrote The Lover. Everything here seems to have been stopped by time, dyed in an ancient and quiet color but still exudes elegance and sophistication. For tourists interested in architecture, Sadek also has many ancient riverside buildings and ancient temples with special architecture. In addition, the colorful Sadek flower farms have long been a famous place on the social network Instagram. Going along the banks of the Mekong River, visitors will come to Tan Chao, a village located near the border with Cambodia and famous for silk production. Silky smooth ribbons of splendid colors gradually formed from rattling machines. The best quality silk seems to be black, dyed with local berries and dried in the wind. Surrounded by rice fields, Tan Chao is also a famous craft village for mat weaving, sandal making and eel farming. The scenery here is very peaceful and visitors can take a boat to admire the peaceful beauty of Tan Chao and catch the cool breeze.